fresh video. Um, I will be uh, leaving, having to leave on a trip, uh, for a uh, work trip of photography. I'm going to be going to California and uh, that's going to be pretty cool because the weather's going to be a lot better there than it is here in Dallas, Texas where it's 105, 106, 104 degrees outside. So very, very hot. Um, even hot for the Tegus to, if they were outside. But uh, I want to show you Here's the, what I'm going to do, uh, let me turn the light on, what I'm going to do, because uh, um, I've talked about uh, not wanting to board them at a, uh, you know, a local uh, reptile store. We don't have a bunch of them, but um, they, there are a few and that have that services, but um, I'm, I'm not uh, keen to uh, you know, partaking in that with, uh, with my personal reptiles. Um, so I will leave them, um, you know, they, they manage out in the wild for years and years on their own. Uh, but I have, uh, will do some things to help them, uh, get through, uh, the three or four days that I'm going to be gone. But let me just show you kind of modified my, uh, larger, uh, substitute room, uh, that, uh, that they will be staying in. And so I've kind of modified it and made it a little bit more Tegu proof and, added a few more features so I just wanted to show you this real quick let me turn my camera around all right I got fresh water in their baby pool um, or the core little makeshift koi pond plastic koi pond um, I've got their hide right there and I do have it plugged in with a little heat pad or a reptile heating pad in there um, just to keep it about 92, 93, 94 degrees um, where, where if they want to sleep on that spot they can even though the room will stay about 90-ish. Uh, I mean it's still early in the day and there's what we're kind of looking at as far as temp and humidity. Um, the pool hopefully will add a little bit more humidity in here. I mean 50 is, is good but I'm a little below that right now. But I added last night, I added some more lights to, uh, for them to uh, get under it right there. And you can see Sassy's partaking in my Zoom Ed light bulb. And then I've got a, a mercury vapor bulb and the black dome right there. And so they can hang out and stare out that window, which they like to do. Here is Mac. I added some different boxes. I just got some... Uh, cables in there and some pads some photography pads and photography straps and Mac is obviously zoned in on this box and is in there kind of taking a snooze inside the tire so he can't tip that box over as easy and then I've got a, a box that the, both the Tegus will want to get into with power cords they love boxes with power cords and get in there and dig around and maybe sleep uh, and then I added a little uh, crate, uh, a box, plastic, you know, with some, Mac was in here earlier and rooting around. Uh, this is, a, let me see, a coconut husk, you know, chipped up coconut husk, and it's maybe three or four inches deep. So they can get in there and have fun in there. They, they like to get into different things and uh, explore and dig. Since I don't have dirt in here, um, they are not going to get on the table, hopefully, because they would just literally wipe everything off that. There's just a cart. They can climb into the cart if they want. Uh, and I got plastic on the floor. See the division? I just got a little piece of carpet that's not uh, protected, but they are pretty good and go basically on the plastic. And then here's my little 360 camera that I can monitor them. And I have, because they will knock the, uh, the power cord out, I mean, within five minutes. So I put a cinder block, a cinder block there to hold that uh, cord in. I mean, it'll be a learning phase. They may find a way to knock that off. Hopefully not, because I don't want that cinder block to fall on them. And, uh, or they could climb up onto the camera and disable the camera that way. Hopefully not not the end of the world if they do um so yeah that's let me just take a 360 they love their window and i got some lights there now uvb and uvb uva uh, mercury bulb 
They can climb all around the room. They can go behind the Coleman fold-out bed there. They've got some extra boxes they can climb into and they can walk around all they want and go behind some pictures and boards that are up against the wall. So this is their playground. It's a large room and uh, I think the Tegus, um, when they get, you know, at least probably uh, eight or nine months or a year, they're gonna start needing a lot more space to roam around. Um, this room is not optimized, you know, for reptiles, but I think since my tegus were raised from, you know, babies, newborn, not, you know, from, uh, three week old babies that, you know, they've adapted really well to uh, kind of adapt, you know, to living in a house. And, uh, you know, they are using furniture and uh, furniture for cover and for climbing and, uh, you know, and so they're probably very well adapted to uh, living with uh, in this type of environment so instead of needing to be outside but they're they're sassy and uh, but that's I just wanted to document that when I return uh, from my trip I'll post this video in the future once I get back come in here and show you fresh what the room looks like uh, and see how bad it is because I mean they're gonna have freedom to go poop and uh, You know if they go and poop in the right places, it's not so bad uh, But I also put down uh, Carpet I put down all weather carpet on the part where the plastic doesn't cover it uh, In hopes you know just to they usually will go on the plastic. They're really pretty good about that and uh, And we'll just see what the room looks like when I walk in fresh when I return Hopefully everything goes good, and you know, I don't believe in crossing your fingers, but, you know, that is what it is. Uh, but uh, so I'll say my prayers that my dog and my tegus are taken care of, and my snake. Snake's really easy to take care of. He'll never know I was gone, uh, but the dog needs to, has a dog door and, and, and can come in and out the dog door, so she needs to, or he needs to spend most of his time inside because it is so hot outside. But my dog does have some common sense, so... Um, hopefully she will do that and take advantage of the air conditioner in the house but... all right I got home I, I left uh, Monday and so I was gone all day Monday I left at 9 o'clock Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and my plane was delayed and then it made me miss my next flight I spent about 13 hours today doing shit not you know just waiting and then the air uh, the plane on the tarmac just waiting for an hour it was a freaking mess like the news is reporting with with all the cancellations but i'm back so i was gone four complete days and four nights or yeah uh so let's take a look at the, the tegu room i i went in there and i saw that they're secure but the room is a mess so let's go in there and look real quick yeah, I mean, the light, oh, the smell is pretty, uh, yeah, they, they, did, they ha didn't have anywhere to go. I mean, they just, this is their cage. There's grass everywhere, or the hay, the hay that I put in there. They have never made a mess with the hay quite like they have in here. Um, they took the blanket. I don't know how the Tegus move the, this big, uh, you know, moving blanket, quilted blanket, but they moved that. They, they pooped in some places. And, and definitely, you know, tried to get under the tarp or the plastic uh, tarp. They, they pooped a lot of new places. You know, that's, that's not their fault. That's what they had to do. Um, they, I watched them on video uh, from time to time, and they, they, they ran around this room like wild hares for, for four or five, maybe six hours, just nonstop running laps around this room, both of them. And I assume, you know, having a blast, but... They went quite a bit of poop in the pool, uh, so that's good. You know, not as much poop out, but they, they went poop in a couple of places and, and sure went pee in a lot of places, but man, this hay is everywhere. I saw them coming in and out of this, um, you know, I don't even know what to call that, a plastic tub. Yeah, there you go, with the uh, <clears throat> coconut fiber in there. They love getting in there and, and digging and then getting out and then, they made a, a major mess. Luckily, they didn't go poop over here too much. They did go poopy right here um, and over here. But they knocked over this and they, they tortured 
this box that I set up with a cinder block to protect the uh, to protect my timer and that's all bent up and then they hit it on the side so that it stays on all the time so these lights uh, both of my uh, lights here were probably on for four days straight uh, morning noon and night which you know I don't know not a big deal but you know a drain on power and a drain on the life of those bulbs for for four days and, and four nights straight uh, but yeah they not they climbed over everything I came in I watched them on video climbing up this limb here that I, this big piece of driftwood that I have on the ground they knocked over my gun case and climbed up and down that they knocked my tree limb uh, for my boa that I put in here they knocked that down they got a massive massive workout they knocked their their ramp down now I got to come in here and really major clean it up. They tracked some some poop on the counter there. Ah, hey goose. But most of the a lot of poop looks like it's there in the pool or the little uh, koi plastic pond. But at least they're alive. Here's Mac in here. Which which here's Mac sleeping. I'll I'll play with him tomorrow. And uh, Sassy's in here. She likes the tire. There's Sassy sleeping in the tire. She likes to sleep there in the in that little rounded spot. But I'm gonna let them sleep and maybe clean this up tomorrow. I gotta eat some food. It's it's now 11:30 or 12 at night. I just got home, and the room. I put up my 360 camera in a spot and I taped it all up and then I put this border around here so they couldn't couldn't climb up the chest and get to the camera. There's all the all the hay that I'll just sweep up and put back in there. They like the hay, but uh, let me turn my camera around. At least they're alive and they they look like they did, did well. Uh, I fed them both uh, two medium-sized rats uh, on uh, Monday, you know, about about nine o'clock, nine a.m. Um, and so, you know, that that would have been good food for them for at least two days. So they're hungry. So I'll feed them to um, Friday, Friday afternoon when they get up. But I just wanted to share this video. Four days without me. I mean, otherwise, there I'm on top of them every day, every couple of hours. I'm messing with them, touching them, cleaning them putting them in the tub and feeding them. I mean, they're just, I mean, they're really pampered and spoiled. And I don't know, you know, if they, uh, when four, they go four days without that, if they're like, whoa, what's going on, you know, or they are not in keen or smart enough to really know, you know, day by day by day. But I'm glad to be back and uh, I want to, you know, get back hands on with them and, and give them some, uh, some love and some food uh, tomorrow. But other than that, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and uh, make some comments if you uh, feel motivated and uh, check out future videos coming okay bye bye